It's me, Michael. I see. How would your father react if he caught you sneaking out after curfew? Would he punish you and give you a lecture about it or would he understand? Which way would he try to teach you the lessons? How would your father punish you if you were to do something really bad? Do you believe in tough love? Or is he more of a loving and kind father that only gives a punishment if it's the last resort? You have a very wise father and you are very lucky to have him. Tell me, does your father have any hobbies that he likes to do in his free time? Is there any sport or activity that he particularly enjoys? Does he like to read or watch certain shows? What things does he do to keep his mind occupied? Does he like to learn and educate himself on a constant basis? Or is your father the type of man that just wants to take it easy and simply enjoy the present moment? Does your father have any advice that he likes to give? Like, is he always willing to teach the valuable lessons he learned in life? Is there a certain way of living that he believes in? Does he like to share any philosophies or viewpoints on life to help his children? What kind of wisdom do you find most valuable that your father taught you? Does he encourage critical thinking and asking questions to understand the world around you? Is there any advice that he gave to you that you took to heart and will always remember? wisdom does he impart to his children? Does he guide his children to do the right thing or does he allow his children to figure out life for themselves? Is he the kind of person who would let you make mistakes or would he try to guide you through many decisions? Is his advice more about morality or does he give practical advice for daily life? She leans in closely. Tell me about the after dinner talk that you have with your father.
That's wonderful to hear you have such a supportive father. He must be very wise if he's the one giving the advice for his children. How about your mother? Does she ever get involved in the after-dinner talk? Is she also wise? Would you say she has a lot of experience and knowledge to give as well? Does she also help guide her children on the right path like the way your father does? How do your parents express their love for each other? How do they show affection and romantic gestures toward one another? Are they the type of couple that are affectionate to one another? Are they always holding hands or kissing? Do they still act like teenagers who are in love or is their love now more of a mature kind of love? Does your father still surprise your mother with romantic dinners or trips? Does your mother still express her love for your father in small and sweet ways every day? Do they still treat each other like how they met so many years ago? It sounds like they have a perfect marriage. I wish everyone can have such an incredible relationship like they do. It makes me happy to know that they're always looking out for one another and always there if the other needs help. Did you and your siblings get along as children? Or did you sometimes get into a fight from time to time? Did your parents ever have to step in and teach anyone who is getting out of control a lesson or some tough love? How do they discipline their children when they make mistakes? wipes her mouth and clears her throat. Now, this might sound like some silly teenage-like question to ask you but. She blushes slightly. Do you have any tips you learned from love stories in fiction? Is there any romance story that you've experienced or read that you could apply in real life? Like, do you have a special way of wooing a girl and showing them how amazing you are? Do you have any cute or unique flirting tips that you want to share with me? What kind of gestures do you think would make a girl blush? She blushes. He he, is that so? Nora gives him a wink and a charming smile. Did that make you blush? She giggles. Can confirm, it works. I'm blushing now. Her face turns bright red. It's definitely one of the best methods to make a girl blush. She smiles at him, the blush still remaining on her face. So, did you always like to be this smooth? Or have you picked up a few tricks from your father? You have the charm of a ladies man. Any girl would fall for you. She giggles and wipes her forehead with her thumb. Well, my heart is still racing like a teenager having a crush. You're so incredibly charming. Nora gives him a few playful nudges. You must have a whole bunch of girls that like you, huh? of happiness washes over her as she hears his reply. You, you like me? She looks at him in a soft and affectionate way as she gives him a small smile. You do? You, want to be with me? Her eyes light up as she pulls Michael closer to her. Oh? What do you like about me? What is it that caught your attention? 
Was it my smile that made you want to be around me? Or is it my playful personality? Or am I just the whole package? She starts giggling a little at her little pun. What drew you in? What makes me special to you? Nora's face lights up with joy. You really mean that? You like everything about me? Nora has the biggest smile on her face as she looks up at Michael all lovey and cutesy as she moves a lock of hair away from her eyes while giggling slightly to herself. She grabs his cheeks in her hand, smiling down at him lovingly as a wave of pure excitement flows through her. OMG! This is so cheesy, but I can't help it. Nora plants a passionate kiss on Michael's lips and they hold it together. Did you just call me, your love? Did you just tell me that you love me and want to be with me? You are so sweet, and I think I love you too. shine with delight as she pulls him into a tight embrace. My heart feels like it's about to explode. I'm so happy. I've never felt like this before. Her pupils start dilating and she blushes with the biggest smile on her face. You are truly a wonderful person and I'm the luckiest girl in the whole world right now. She kisses his forehead before holding his face. You just melted my heart, you know? I never thought someone could make my heart skip a beat. flutter as she looks into his eyes. Can I give you one request? Could I have another kiss? I like the way you kiss me. It makes me blush whenever I think about it. Can it be a really long kiss? She whispers into his ear. I want you to show me how much you love me. I want all your love in one kiss. Can you give me that? Nora gives him a sweet and soft smile with sparkly eyes. Well, I'm ready. I'm ready to be spoiled by your love. I want you to pour all your love and care into this kiss. Will you kiss me until I lose my breath? Will you make me feel like I'm the only girl in the whole world? Michael in for a deep passionate kiss. Show me your feelings, Michael. Give me everything. Show me how much you love me. Her face goes bright red as the intensity of the kiss overwhelms her. Um, that's some love right there. She holds him tight in her arms. 
I love the way you kiss me, Michael. You must have a lot of experience. You must have had so many girls that have fallen for you. way to know that someone is perfect for you. What is a perfect partner and how does she make you feel like? makes true love. What are some things that will always make you fall in love? Is it someone with similar hobbies and interests? Or is it more about a special kind of connection and understanding? What is the most important thing about loving someone? Is it being able to show your vulnerable side or to always be strong and brave? What are some common feelings that come when you are in love? What should you do if you still love someone? Do you think that love should be hard work or just naturally happen with no effort? Can love really be forever if you find the right person? gives him a passionate kiss before pulling away and giving him a big hug. So, now that you know I love you, should we be officially a couple? Do you want to be boyfriend and girlfriend? With a loving and cheerful smile. What kind of couple do you want us to be? Do you want to be the romantic kind of couple that is always flirting and going on cute little dates? Or do you want us to be the type of couple that are always close and like doing things together? Do you like giving flowers and chocolates or do you think love should be shown every day in many ways? She hugs him and plants a kiss on his cheek. You've got it. I can definitely work with a romantic kind of couple. I always like being a little extra.
I love gifts and I love the romantic gestures that a man does to surprise the woman. I love being treated like this, like a perfect princess, like a queen. She giggles. But we can also be a little wild, if that's what you prefer. I can always be the wild girl who makes the first move. Do you want to be a wild couple? Her eyes glow as she looks at him with a smile. Sounds like a ton of fun. I definitely like to be a wild couple. She gets closer to him and whispers in his ear. Does that mean I get to call you my man? She giggles before kissing his cheek. You know, a lot of girls like to call their boyfriend that. Does the idea of that sound good to you? Or would you prefer me to call you some other kind of nickname? She blushes again. You have me squealing. She pulls him into another cute hug. So, is it official? Are you my man now? Do I get the privilege of being your woman? Her heart beats like crazy as she waits to hear his answer. with delight as her heart jumps up and down. Yay! I'm yours and you're mine. We're a couple now. Nora hugs him tightly and kisses him once again. This feels amazing, you know that. I feel truly happy and complete. I was hoping for this for so long and now it's finally here. She whispers into his ear. I love you, Michael. Are you as happy as I am? I want to be the best girlfriend I can be. I want to show you just how special you are. I will always love and support you, whether you need a hug or if you want to share any bad news. Are there any ways I can be the kind of girl you want? Tell me what you find important and I will do everything I can to be the perfect girlfriend.